Hi, Zulily fans. You are here with Lindsay at our headquarters in Seattle, Washington. And I am so excited because today we are talking all about how to DIY paint seashells. We're getting ready for summer coming up and lots of fun activities for you and kiddos in your life. And um, I have my mom back with us today, Lori. She is a speech pathologist and is going to talk all about this really fun DIY activity and ways to get your kids talking while participating. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. This is such a fun activity. I love it. So what you can do is you can get grab your seashells. It doesn't matter, Lindsay. I'm going to let you grab one. Yeah. And, and let's show them first this final product up here because just so many possibilities here. And we're going to just quickly demo some for you. But the intricacies you can have, or you can go really, really simple too. Um, so lots of different opportunities, and we'll kind of go through how you can paint the different shells. So, Mom, how, how do you recommend painting shells? Well, what I recommend is either using your acrylic paints, mm -hmm. or you can use these wonderful little pins right here. Oh, I love that for no mess. Yes, or less mess. Less mess. <laughs> and I'm going to start with this guy, and you yeah. just you can do anything. The the designs are endless, and I'm going to do some little polka dots and put those right there in the center. That's so cute. I'm gonna do a little polka dots over here. And that doesn't take a ton of artistic ability and it's no. all about being creative, right? It's not about being perfect. No, and it's, you can talk about it like you can do part of the shell, half of the shell, the whole shell. And then also you could do some, a little stripe, put that on this side over here. That's kind of squeaky. I love all Sorry. the fun, bright <laughs> colors too. Isn't and that great? Of course, you can shop craft supplies on Zulily. And if you have a question or comment, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know if you think this is something you do with kiddos in your life. Maybe you're a nanny this summer. Maybe you're a mom. Maybe you're a grandma. Maybe you just want to do this for fun with your friends. I mean, it's a it's great fun. activity um, and something where you can really express your creativity. And so this is what I think is really, really fun. This is an actual crab shell. It is a Dungeness crab. They're local here in our area in the Pacific Northwest and you can go get this and then paint it. And what I love about it is you can start talking all about what you would find in the ocean. You can find crab shells and, and shell, crabs and shells, and you can decorate it. And then I also like to talk about the different parts of the crab. You can talk about their eyes and they have little antennas. They have five sets of, of claws and legs. And you can talk about the different appendages here, abdomen, how you know if it's a girl crab or a boy crab. So have fun and a great activity is how about if you go crabbing with your child if you're lucky like we are to have crabs here and if not just go to the beach or to a lake and your final talking tip I'd like you to try out to do is just go to the beach talk about it make up a mural you can take sand at the bottom you can add like clouds and sea stars on the bottom on the sand you can draw fish you can make up stories and a really fun thing is to actually collect some of these and make your own summertime book. Put I a, love that idea. Put a book together mm -hmm. and you could tape in a seashell and talk about the name of the place where you found it. Next time if you go to the zoo, you can tape in a receipt, talk about the different animals you saw at the zoo, and you could even keep that in your car so your child would have something to talk about while you're driving. So that's some of our fun activities. Lindsay, Love that's a darling. So I just did a little flower here really, really quickly so you can see. It doesn't take a lot of time. It can be very simple. And like my mom said, it's all about getting your kids, having that continued education throughout the summer and getting them out there, right? We want to make sure we're exploring our surroundings and using creative, imaginative learning. So thank you so much How for fun. being here, Mom. You bet. And giving your talk and tip as well. And thank you all for tuning in. And of course, make sure to shop craft supplies on Zuzeli. Thanks. Bye. See ya.